Good morning. How are you guys? Um, I just put breakfast in the oven. I'm making up eight chicken thighs. Obviously not all for breakfast, kind of for meal prep also. Um, I seasoned them with Italian seasoning, salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. So those are in the oven at 400 for 40 minutes. I don't think my oven's getting as hot as it used to. But anyway, I'm going to have the rest of this steak also. Um as a breakfast appetizer. So I'm gonna eat this up and wait for my chicken to finish. Um, yesterday, I know I didn't, uh, I kinda ended the video abruptly yesterday with that uh, salad that I ate. But after improv last night, um, some people wanted to go out and I was hungry. I was actually in uh, indigestion. So I wanted to eat something. Um, so they went to a bodega. It's called a bodega. Someone said that means like a Spanish. Oh, um, in Spanish it means sandwich. But anyway, the place was called bodega. And, uh, um, the salad was okay. The pork on it was good. The salad needed more dressing. Um, I didn't realize it was going to come with all the fruit. There was mango and pineapple on it. It tasted fresh at least. Not like that really changes the sugar content in it but uh it wasn't bad um so yeah i had that last night that's the only thing i ate um i noticed yesterday and also this morning like i've been urinating a lot more um i mean i've been drinking water but the ratio of urination and drinking water doesn't quite match i think so I was thinking maybe it's that fat whoosh effect. Maybe my body's letting go of water that it had stored in the fat cells, perhaps. But uh, it was yeah definitely something that I noticed. Because I usually, well, I don't know. I guess I won't go into too much detail of my bathroom habits. But um, yesterday, an improv went to the bathroom. And then... On the ride home, I had to stop and go to the bathroom. It was like I'd never do that. So that's why it was a little unusual. So I'm thinking maybe it was the fat whoosh effect. I don't know. But, um, alright. I'll see you guys shortly. Shortly later. Shortly for you, but in a few hours for me. Alright, so my chicken is done. And I'm going to eat these three thighs for breakfast. Alright, so this is lunch. Uh, same thing as breakfast. Three chicken thighs. Hey, um, I just wanted to make a quick video. I was looking back at my Fitness Pal app and uh, just my weight over the history of my life. Um, back in 2017, as you guys probably know or could know from looking at the community tab because I posted a picture of my starting weight back then but in 2017 I was 401 pounds and now that I'm now that I'm 300 a little under 300 um I don't know I'm just I, like I was thinking back to when I was 400 pounds and I can remember the mentality that I had then um it was a feeling of hopelessness um uh, to think i was 400 pounds and you know i would think of the ultimate weight that i should have been which was like around 180 so the idea of losing more weight than i should weigh just felt felt hopeless and just i really like I don't know, it was in a mindset of just, like, giving up, basically. Like, uh, it felt impossible to do something like that. Um, so, like, I was trying to think of what actually got me, I guess you could say, motivated to lose the weight. And um, I guess it was just a sense of if I don't change my diet and start doing something, then I'm basically going to die soon. Um, 
Like, it was the feeling of, I don't know, not desperation, but, like, I really had no other option. Like, I had to do something. If I continued doing what I was doing, I was just killing myself slowly. Um, so, honestly, like, I didn't feel a lot of motivation back then. It was just, I flipped a switch in my mind, and I thought... If I don't do something, it's, I don't know how long I'm going to live. And if I do continue to live, it's going to be a bad quality of life. 400 pounds, it was just hard on my body to walk, to move around. It was always tiring, like to get out of a chair. It was always stressful. Um... To ride in a plane was difficult. I was squished in a seat and my body overflowing into the other seat. Um, so it just was not fun. Um, I'm not saying that I don't struggle with that now because I still do. I still have to lose another 100 pounds. Um, but, you know, I was just thinking of how long I've actually came, and I know since these videos have started, you didn't, you guys haven't seen me at 400 pounds, but ultimately that's the weight I was at, 401, and uh, even though I gained back quite a bit of weight, you know, back in September I was 355, um, even though I gained it back, uh, I'm losing it again. I hate to do the yo-yo dieting, but uh, apparently I didn't learn what I had to learn to make this a lifestyle choice. Um, you know, I, I always think, what's changed this time? What have I learned? How am I not going to yo-yo diet? And... Um, I realize that that's difficult to answer. Um, the I think the game plan that I have is I'm going to be aware of when I do reach lower 200s. Um, don't think of it as I reach my goal. <sighs> Try to have the mindset of this is my ideal weight. And now I'm in a maintenance mode. It's like weight loss doesn't end. I can't just go back eating whatever I want, the ultra processed food. That's why I feel like maybe this time around what's a little different is my mentality toward the ultra processed food. <clears throat> because like I'm not giving that up just to lose weight. I'm giving it up because I know it's terrible for my body. It's not human food. Um... So I'm thinking maybe that will help me once I get down to that weight, once I get down to my goal weight. Um, I'm not saying that I'll never have ultra-processed food. I was thinking today also about the trip that I have planned to the UK and how I plan to basically eat what I want to eat uh, and try their traditional foods, which may be ultra-processed. Um... Although, I don't think a lot of it. Um, I mean, their traditional foods shouldn't be ultra-processed. Not in most of it. But anyway, I was just, like, thinking of a game plan for when I get back home from the vacation. Um, I think I'm going to probably make a video before I leave. And it'll be, like, past mark telling future mark be aware of this be aware of my weight make sure i get back to the diet that i was on prior which will most likely be the carnivore diet and also intermittent fasting <clears throat> um because i know once i start eating carbs again it's like my mind starts to switch toward it wants more carbs, and it wants to eat the whole day. 
uh, I get the cravings more, so I know I'm going to have to battle that after this trip. Um, something else, like, uh, I noticed when I was looking back at my weight on the MyFitnessPal, um, like, I literally started gaining all the weight back, not all the weight, some of the weight, back, like, uh, like, basically right when the pandemic happened. Uh, so it was like the end of February of 2020. Like, that's when I started gaining it back. So, I don't know. I can't use that as an excuse. Um, I mean, it is my excuse because, like, I feel like my life was so different back then. <sighs> it's really weird how, like, everything changed. Um, just the schedule, you know, consistently going out every weekday for work and then working out sometimes at the gym during work and after work being on a schedule of going to the gym. Um, it's just like everything stopped with the pandemic and I didn't have any routine down. I, uh, I mean, no one had any, no one had a routine down with the pandemic. <clears throat> so, I don't know, I guess I can't really blame myself. It is my fault, but I feel like, you know, with the pandemic and gyms literally closing, everyone being segmented and on, like, house arrest. Uh, yeah, I know, I know I'm not the only one who put weight on. <clears throat> but... As long as I live, I'll, I'll never do that again. I'll never, yeah, never do that again. Um, but anyway, um, so I think I was saying that because I realized that's when the weight came on. And I realized that during that time, like, I didn't really have any weight entries in my fitness pal. So I stopped weighing myself. I think if I just consistently weigh myself, like, at least weekly, like I'm doing now, I think that'll keep me accountable. Um, as long as I do the simple task of weighing myself, I think that'll keep me accountable. Because I'll see my weight, and when I see my weight, I'll think of, you know, the weight that I came from. Um, the weight I don't want to be. You know, I don't want to go back to 400 pounds plus and... My quality of life go down the drain. Um, you know, I want to live a life where I can dress in nice clothes and travel if I want to travel. I'm in a spot now in my life where I feel like life's going to get better at this point. Um, I'm like almost completely out of debt. And, you know, I think now there's a lot to do that I'm out of debt. I can travel more and just do stuff. So I want my body and my physical body and quality of life to match the life that I have now. Um, so I think weighing in, just like... I don't know. I want like some sort of plaque or sign to put up where I see it every single day to weigh in. I'm not going to weigh in every day, but I need to put it somewhere that I remember to weigh in weekly. <clears throat> I don't really think it's a matter of me remembering to weigh in. I think it's a matter of me wanting to be ignorant to the fact if I'm gaining weight. Like, I want to... Imagine that it's not happening, or I don't want to think about it. I just want to ignore it, because I know, like, in the past, after after the pandemic, um, I can remember putting on some 2X shirts and feeling them be tight, and I thought, no, oh, this shirt's tight. I, look. I wonder if this, I literally thought, did this shrink in the washing machine or the dryer? Yeah, I think these are shrinking. And then I just, like I told myself, all oh, these shirts, I don't know, they're bad. I need different shirts. 
they want to buy new shirts and they were a size bigger. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but I mean, I was only fooling myself. But I like, truly told myself, like, uh, something's messed up with the shirts. <laughs> and I know it's like, it's people say that as a joke, but that's how I kind of justified it to myself. I just didn't want to face, face the reality of me gaining weight again. Um, I knew I was gaining weight. I really didn't know at the rapid pace I was gaining the weight. It's just like, it seems like it just came back really fast. When in reality, 2020 to 2023, that's three years, is it? Three years? Like, yeah, I guess 2020 20 plus three is 23. I think it's a little more than three years. Because the beginning of 2020, 21, 22, no. 2020, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, it's like over, it's like four, four years and nine months. Yeah, that's crazy. Did I do that math right? I don't know. I'm dumb. Uh, but anyway, it's a long time. I know the weight didn't come back overnight. I knew it and took took a while um yeah that's four years <clears throat> just ever since the pandemic boy, the time's flown by too <sighs> so anyway I don't know I guess it was a good learning experience for me I know that this time around it has to be Something that I do for life, like uh, I'm not losing the weight just to hit a goal. I'm losing the weight until I die, basically. Uh, losing weight until I die and also working out to just have a better health span until the end of my life. I really I don't want to... Uh, have to depend on anyone toward the end of my life so book i read i'm trying to think of the book name outlive i think it's outlive actually i didn't finish it all but i read most of it talks about that health span um so i just have to really remember what i'm doing it for this time and like i said weighing myself weekly Forcing, my, forcing myself to weigh in, I think that'll keep me accountable. I think that'll probably be the biggest thing. So, yeah, I'll make, I mean, I don't know when I should make the sign. I don't know if I should make it now. I mean, I'm already motivated to lose the weight. I guess I'm afraid when I start getting closer to my goal weight, that's when things start to change. Uh, you start to get happier in a better place, and then I uh, start to eat more, go out more, do stuff. So I should probably make the sign ASAP. Because I know I'll get down to my goal weight. Right now, when I think about the goal weight, it feels like it's going to take forever, but in reality, it's like once I'm at that weight, it'll feel like it went quickly. <clears throat> the last time I was at two, I was looking at two eighty five. Uh, when was it? I just saw it. I think it was. I think it was in. Was it in twenty twenty? I don't know if I gained the weight that quickly. Yeah, it was because I looked and I saw it was pre pandemic. Um. It was 285. Maybe it was 2020. I don't know. Maybe the maybe I started getting... I have to look at the chart again. Maybe I started getting the weight earlier than the pandemic. I think it might have been around 2019 that I started putting weight, weight back on. Because so I looked and I saw that prior to the pandemic, which was like 
February, March of 2020, I was 285. So I was just looking at that, thinking I've got 15 more pounds to go until I'm my pre-pandemic weight. Uh, so I guess right now that would be my next goal. This is way 285. I'm, I'm thinking I can get there before my trip. Um, so I'll get to 285 before my trip, and then we'll see how much weight I gain on my trip. And uh, I don't know. I think maybe sometimes when you gain the weight on like a trip or something like that, I think you. If you go back to the diet, I think you tend to lose it kind of quickly. I, I don't think it'll... I don't know. I don't know if it would take equal time to lose it as it took to gain it. I don't know about that, but... <clears throat> I guess we'll see. Um. Anyway, this has been a long enough video, so I'm going to end this here. Um, I'm going to go to the gym and... Do a workout. I think it might be shoulders and back, I think. So, really tired. I don't feel like going, but I'm going to force myself to go because I need to. And it sounds like it's going to rain soon, so hopefully I'll beat the rain. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Hey, Raimundo, if you're watching this, if you can find these sodas, try it out. Spindrift. They use natural, natural fruit juice to sweeten it. It's not many calories. I've had, uh, there's some others down here also. I've had the lime before. The lime's probably my favorite. It's got the least amount of calories too. All right, I just thought I would show you my uh, pickup that I just made at Publix. It's a little one, but expensive one. I think all this stuff was like around $45, four items, insane. Uh, but I got Spindrift, unsweetened lemonade, sparkling water. Actually, uh, yeah, lemon limeade. So I guess this is lemon and lime. I didn't actually read it, but yeah, lemon limeade. And this one sounded good, peach strawberry. And there is some natural fructose in this. So, um, I don't know, it's carbonated water, peach puree, strawberry puree, citric acid. It's only 13 calories. Three grams of carbs. It's actually got fiber in it. So it's technically two, uh, two net carbs. Didn't think it would have fiber in it. And this one is one carb. So, um, I don't know. I would still classify these as keto-friendly because they're super low. And these, like, uh, I drank, what's it called? LaCroix. And I don't know. There's just, those, uh, just has, like, it tastes so much like water. It's just a gross flavor. But these, because they have, like, a little bit of natural fruit juice, they taste, like, completely different. They're so much better. And I got this steak. Their steaks didn't look too great today. So this is the only one that looks halfway decent. It's like a 1.6 pounds, $21 for the steak. And uh, I haven't tried Publix's kielbasa yet. So I got a pack of that. I'm thinking to cut down on the price of these steaks. Um, actually, let me flip the camera real quick. So yeah, I was going to say, due to the price of these steaks, what I'm thinking about doing is uh, getting some organic uh, farm, grass-fed beef. Um, I'll try to get a fatty beef, but I'll mix in some like pureed, chopped up bacon. Uh, maybe some bacon, and I'm trying to think of what else I could put in it. Maybe some sort of fatty beef. Um... Mm, I don't know. You could probably do lamb also, but I think lamb's also kind of expensive, especially if you do farm grass-fed lamb. Um, but yeah, I was just trying to think of different ways to cut down the cost on of meat. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just 
I don't know. I'll stop buying steaks and go to like a grass fed beef and add some fat into it. Um, I guess on carnivore, well, on carnivore, they say you can eat fat, but they don't really, excuse me, I don't think they stress that you get high fat. I just find with meat, you're going to get plenty of protein. Um, but I also want to make sure I'm getting enough fat because I think fat helps satiate me a lot. But anyway, um, I know today's video was kind of long, but uh, appreciate you watching. And if you made it this far, comment down below 288. So just type the numbers 288. So I think, I know I said earlier I was going to use, was it 285 as my goal? But if I get down to 288, I will get down to 288. Once I get down to 288, that'll be a 50 pound loss since I've started this channel. So uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll use that as a goal for now. And uh, once I hit 288, I can make, uh, I don't know, I'll make a video and I'll like title it 50 pound milestone or something like that. So yeah, if you made it this far, comment 288. All right, you guys have a good night.